Welcome to There is More to Creative Thinking Than Thinking. The first in the series of Just 20 Minutes webinars. I'm sharing this picture for one obvious reason and another not so obvious reason. The obvious reason, Lord Ganesha is considered the remover of all obstacles. So, we begin anything important by seeking his blessings. I seek his blessings that we go through this session without any hitch. The less obvious reason is this. What you see is an eco-friendly clay Ganesha and is made by an NGO. The people who make this at the NGO are mentally and physically challenged people. I've been to the place where they make it and have met these wonderful people. The place is buzzing with life. Everyone is encouraged to make a Ganesha and they have acquired this skill only because of the encouragement. It set me thinking actually. The power of support and encouragement to think differently and do things better. We have 91 people registered for this webinar. 68 people are here today. Thank you for such an overwhelming response. This creates a few challenges though. I would have liked to handle questions online, but for today, I request you to mail me your questions. I will answer them within 24 hours. Do bear with me if I make a few mistakes handling the technology. The moment we talk about creative thinking, we start thinking about great thinkers and thinking styles. Socrates, Plato, De Bono, lateral thinking and so on, critical thinking and so on, and practical thinking as well. The other thing we do is to go to an off-site workshop and run a creativity workshop to learn creative thinking tools, techniques and processes. The workshop is lively fun-filled, engaging, and there is a lot of camaraderie, teamwork, presentations, and so on. However, the atmosphere created in such workshops is not easy to replicate at the workplace. Now imagine this scenario. Boss is called for a meeting. One of the new recruits a bright, young, freshly minted MBA is also invited for this meeting. He was recruited principally because of his unusual ways of looking at issues. What is the task? The task is to think of completely new, engaging ways to present the status of the Indian operations and its potential to the visiting principal from U.S. In fact, the boss had used the term out of the box in his task description. Now, similar things happen in many other organizations. Bosses always seem to want fresh, new, out of the box ideas. Our young friend suggests an idea. He suggests putting together a team of bright young managers. The team must think like the board and have a lively discussion for 60 minutes on the Indian operations and its future. One of the participants would represent the interests of the principal. The entire meeting is captured through hidden cameras. Very unusual idea indeed. The visiting US principal, the boss, and the rest of the senior management would watch this entire meeting live from another conference room. After 60 minutes, this group will discuss specific issues of interest to the visiting U.S. principal for another 60 minutes. Nobody had thought of an idea of this kind before. Now, how do you think people in most companies would react to this idea? One option is to dismiss it immediately as a harebrained idea of an eager and enthusiastic newcomer. 
this reaction is almost instantaneous. It is almost like an offensive launched against the youngster. The second one is analyze pros and cons, discuss the risks of trying something so radical, and finally go for a regular PowerPoint presentation by the boss. Make slides more interesting and not too text heavy. The chairman of the leading organizations calls this paralysis by analysis. The idea is the idea is under a microscope and analyzed to death. The third option is silence. Wait for initial comments by someone else, preferably by the boss, thereafter go with the flow. Often you can locate this or identify this behavior by a stone-faced Jackson expression. You do not know if people are happy or unhappy with the idea. Everybody is playing the wait and watch game. The next option is find the idea intriguing, want to understand more as to how it can be done. This makes you feel that there is a positive reaction to the idea. There is an inclination to understand explore in terms of how to move further on this idea. It's a nice sign to have. The last option, which I call the ultimate dream option, boss not only reacts favorably, but also asks the youngster to work with him directly to make this idea effective. Actually, the boss is offering to play coach is a great thing to happen. Now please respond to the poll that you'll see and we'll see what the results look like later. Let me share the poll results with you now. I must say I'm somewhat happily surprised by the results. 4% of the 68 people who are attending this seminar webinar said option A. 21% opted for option B, which is paralysis by analysis option. Only 15% opted for the stone face Jackson option. In, in most cases, I found when we did similar research, uh, this option is almost about 20 to 25%. And even the earlier option, the percentage for numbers were high. 54% opted for option D, which is find the idea intriguing and wanting to understand more. This figure is a real surprise for me, the highest ever. What it really means to me is that you're wonderful people and are likely to encourage creative thinking more than others I know. That's great. Only 6% opted for the boss playing coach. This conforms to uh, the figures from our earlier research as well. The truth is the boss holds the key to changing the creative climate of the organization. So that leads us to the question, what is creative climate? How does it affect creative thinking? So take a look at an interesting definition from Synectics in Boston. Synectics actually introduced this formula. Years ago, I trained as a Synectics facilitator. It's one of the leading organizations in the US teaching creative thinking. Here is a formula I learned at Synectics. Creativity is a function of climate into thinking. You'll see in the next line, innovation is defined as function of thinking, climate, and implementation. So there is an uh, element of implementation and innovation. But let's focus on the creativity angle. Okay. I can understand this concept about thinking, but what do they mean by climate? Take a look at this. In a meeting when you suggest an idea, someone attacks it mercilessly, you could find the climate threatening, which is the low bottom part that you can see. You'll keep quiet after that, wanting to preserve your self-esteem. 
actually uh, they call it emotional survival on the other extreme if the boss himself is supportive and encouraging you will feel energized and you will participate wholeheartedly in the meeting with great enthusiasm so the energy is available for task accomplishment and success so this is what it's all about so you could be moving on a continuum from threatening to adversarial to neutral to cooperative to supportive this entire climate is in the hands of the leader of the organization the boss i hate this idea let me share a story here i was facilitating a workshop for a large financial services company some time ago the task was to find completely new ways to grow the business during the inauguration the md told his managers that he was looking forward to some really different even crazy ideas every idea is valuable and no one should censor anything that was his brief later in the evening i was helping him sort and select ideas with potential and promise there was one idea which made him see red he was livid what if we made abc swami ji the brand ambassador for our business the md was furious he said i hate this idea here i am bringing them to an offsite at huge expense and see how frivolous they are what kind of an idea is this how can they even think like this he was like a raging bull i kept quiet for a while and then told him look you gave them the freedom to think without any restraint so how can you complain they have just done what you wanted them to do you can't complain about that but this is not acceptable this is real rubbish he said i said look why don't we do one thing we are going to form five groups tomorrow to develop the ideas that you select right give this idea to one group and ask them to develop it but then i don't like it he said you don't have to say you like it simply say you found it to be very different and you want to explore it so he reluctantly agreed to my suggestion in the evening when this group presented he was tense yet curious the group said this idea is not about the swami ji it is about people like him who influence millions of followers these followers attend various spiritual camps around the country in large groups there are several such spiritual leaders each with his own following there are several such camps through the year what if we created a special card which looks after their financial needs we could sign up millions in one shot i could see that the md was quite impressed during dinner he said you know i was pleasantly surprised by what i saw to be honest i did not think our people could think like this so i asked him so what do you think stopped them in the past he was forthright i think i am responsible really i always gave them a task and also defined what they should do if they deviate they got into trouble with me so what the what made the difference today i asked him i just gave them a creative freedom they needed for the first time they could think the way they wanted the fact is that they are bright people and are good thinkers i just never allowed them to think he said that was really honest you can kill or nurture creativity by the way you treat uncomfortable ideas and the people who thought of them just think about what happens in your company when someone comes out with an unheard of idea the way the leadership reacts will define the creative climate of the company do you kill the idea and the guy who came with the idea then you know what kind of company it is so what will help in this situation how can we deal with this issue how can we create the creative climate that we so badly want the first thing is we must get rid of is the one right answer syndrome the fact is there is more than one right answer to every issue when you want to go from point a to point b there are several additional options available 
we must actively seek more right answers keep asking so what else can we do how else can we crack this the more you ask the more you will get the second thing is willingness to encourage experiments let people try small experiments an experiment is a test where the results could be unpredictable they could either be successful or they could just fail that doesn't matter but that's what an experiment is all about with every experiment we could learn more about making new ideas work encourage people to fly under the radar for a while so that they're not under the gaze of other people trying to judge them too early the next thing is tolerance for ambiguity and uncertainty most of us can't handle ambiguity or uncertainty we want to know we want to be sure we want to know everything we want everything to be perfect however when we cultivate the ability to tolerate tolerate ambiguity or uncertainty even for a short time we are opening new possibilities remember the md and the swamiji story and the positive outcome when he was willing to suspend judgment and accept uncertainty even for a short while balancing passion and objectivity passion is not about recklessness objectivity is not about criticizing ideas a happy balance between the two is possible and that's what we must create that's what most creative directors in one of some of the best advertising agencies do what can your people do without seeking permission that defines your culture ram charan this is my favorite quote from ram charan this may not be his exact words but represent the essence of what he said if you want more creative thinking what can your people do without seeking your permission to think without restraint that defines your creative culture there is a question for you now before i close the session a question that will make you pause and think next time when someone comes to you with an idea that makes you uncomfortable what will you do think about it prepare yourself to act differently when this happens explore what happens you may have some pleasant surprises like the md in our story good luck and all the best